Estamos novamente aqui dando prosseguimento uh, ao Relações Internacionais em Pauta. Temos aqui um ilustre convidado, o professor uh, Richard Burge, da Wilton Park, que é, uma, é um think tank é, britânico. Ele está aqui no Brasil, uh, num seminário organizado juntamente pelo Wilton Park e a Fundação Alexandre Guzmão, sobre cooperação internacional. Eu a, estou aproveitando essa, esse momento para entrevistá-lo para a nossa programação. É, a entrevista vai ser conduzida em inglês. É, so, good afternoon, Richard. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to have you here with us. Thank you, Sergio. It's great to be And um, uh, first, if you could give us an idea of Wilton Park. You know, not, not all Brazilians are familiar with the Wilton Park. With the Wilton Park. Not all people in Britain are familiar <laughs> with Wilton Park either. We uh, we're quite a discreet organisation, and the reason is we we usually our job is to give the opportunity for people who often don't have the chance to meet and to talk frankly and openly with each other about the problems of the world. We give them that opportunity. Excellent. No more than about 50 people at a time, and we've been doing that now for 70 years. We started doing it at the end of the Second World War to get people from Germany and people from Britain to talk together. And then gradually our work expanded, and now we do about 70 of these events a year, involving about 3,000 people from 160 countries uh, every year across the world. Excellent. And what about uh, our meeting here today? We have the seminar, uh, the seminar on uh, uh, Brazil, UK, and uh, Sub-Saharan mm -hmm. Africa. Uh, Uh, what is it uh, all about? Well, this came about, as a lot of Wilton Park uh, events do, as a result of discussions with friends. And obviously you and I had a, fr a chat about this a couple of years ago. Um, and we were looking uh, at one point with people around the world at who had similar approaches to development to each other in terms of uh, countries who were providing technical assistance or funding into Africa. And one of the things quite a few people in Africa were saying is there's a lot of commonality in terms of attitude and demeanor between Brazil and the UK. And the other thing, of course, is that Brazil and the UK are often involved in tripartite discussions. Obviously, ABC and our own Department for International Development, DFID, work together to deliver work in, in African countries. So we thought it might be a good idea to sit down uh, and have a meeting of people here, Brazilian, British, and people from Africa who had worked with both of us and to try and decide how could we improve the way in which we work together what, and how can we learn from each other. And not just uh, Brazilians and British talking to each other, but to actually get some Africans to tell us their perceptions of our performance as well. And in that discussion was how do we uh, explain to people, how do we monitor and evaluate our success? How do we actually also have the openness and honesty to monitor and evaluate where we fail? I see. Very interesting. And how do you think that the mission has been accomplished, the mission for the seminar, and how, what are the prospects as you see it? Well, I think it's been a very good meeting. Uh, it's been enabled because Wilton Park and, and, and Funag and you and me have a strong relationship and we make that happen. So the context of this discussion has been uh, uh, an institutional relationship that's already in place. I think my, my sense is that people at this meeting have made contact with people they would never normally get in contact with and have felt that they now have the opportunity of doing work in the future, particularly over strengthening the impact of uh, development work in Africa, strengthening its effectiveness, making us in, in, in the UK and you in Brazil more effective at what we do. Uh, so I think it's had a, a, a significant impact in that way and I think its effect will be felt over the coming months and years. Uh, nessa entrevista, o Richard Bird uh, deu uma, uma visão uh, sobre a importância da sua instituição, o Wilton Park, que é, que, uh, é uma instituição que desempenha um papel uh, importante no diálogo sobre relações internacionais, desde uh, depois da Segunda Guerra Mundial, isso em, em, primeiramente no contexto europeu, e depois se foi uh, se espalhando essa atividade importante que é exercida pelo Wilton Park, por essa instituição britânica, ligado ao governo federal, ao Foreign Office, à chancelaria britânica. Em relação ao seminário, ao nosso seminário, que tem a ver, é, esse seminário dá sequência a uma cooperação já existente entre a ABC, que é a Agência de Cooperação 
do Brasil, ligado ao Ministério das Relações Exteriores, e ao DFID, DFID, que é o departamento que trata de cooperação internacional do governo britânico. E nós fizemos uma cooperação em 2011, essa cooperação se vem fortalecendo, e o esforço nesse momento era um esforço de dar foco e ver como nós podemos avançar, sobretudo tendo em vista ah, os, os novos objetivos do desenvolvimento sustentável, os objetivos do desenvolvimento 2030. Eh, e nós, como defendemos esses objetivos nas Nações Unidas, estamos vendo agora como colocar o foco em áreas que precisam do nosso apoio, que são áreas da África subsaarica. Brasil e Reino Unido estão trabalhando nesse sentido. Boa tarde.